Chadwick Liddell, a YouTube sensation, or a menace to our children as we know it? We'll answer that live after the break. Can someone give me a water? All right, Mr. Bestford. Here, give me a water. Come on. Mr. Bestford, we Thanks. have 20 minutes to get you to the storyboard room. We have four members pitching four ideas. What? And we, need, we have 20 minutes to get back here. How long have you been waiting? Pretty long. Let's go. You just tell me this now. All right. So we have four of the uh, storyboard members here where you two all hear their stories. Uh, There's three. What do you mean four? Um, uh, is this some kind of prank? What is it? What do you want? I'm actually the fourth writer. No, you're not. Get, get out of here. Get in the seat. Just. All right. So what? We have... Continue. I... Just. Sorry, mess. Okay. You get off your phone. And you wake up. All right. This is Bradford. Bassford. That is his middle name. Okay. I didn't even know what. What's so funny? Okay, well, let's just get into their storyboard ideas. All right, so this this is Don. Don, this is Mr. Bassford. Hey, Don. Noah, Hello. Mr. Bassford. Hey, Don. Steele, Mr. Bassford. And you are? Uh, Daniel. Daniel, Mr. Bassford. All right, so we'll have Don here go first. Let me pull you up a chair. That would be worth it. Yes, sir. Here you go. Thanks. All right, hello guys. My name is Don, and I'm here to pitch my idea. I'm really, really happy, excited to get this show on the network and stuff. So. You sure they have every flavor in here? They have all the flavors you need, dude. Everything. Boston cream, chocolate, sprinkles. You name it, dude. They have everything you want. Right. Come on, looking forward to it. Where is it? Right up there. Right. Hello, Don. Why don't you have a seat right over there? You heard you like donuts. What's this Godfather setup? What's going on? Calm down, calm down. It's Nothing too major, I would say, but we would like you to have a seat right over there. Please. You set me up. That's perfect. I mean, Don hasn't been the same since he started this donut addiction. I mean, there was one time where a couple days ago we were planning on going to the bar and I don't drink. I'm a teetotaler, but I want to go just for my friend Don. You know, just to hang out. But the thing is, he no-showed, and uh, a couple hours later, I texted him, hey man, where are you? You didn't come to the bar. And uh, he texted me, oh, sorry, Dan. I was uh, stuffing my face with donuts. And he sent me a picture of eating donuts. Don's a cool dude, but these donuts have torn our friendship apart. I used to VC him on Discord all the time, but now all he has time for is the donuts. I mean, no one's condoned this behavior, yet he still keeps eating donuts. I mean, there's no reason I should know every flavor of donut. Donuts taste amazing, but if this doesn't stop, I'm, I'm afraid there's no hope. I saw Don beat bread. He had a horrible bread addiction. And you know, frankly, uh, he's gone farther deep in addiction with donuts now, I'm, uh, you know. Came out of winter, beating the bread. Now that winter is losing again, but this time with donuts, which is not much different from bread, but I know I'm a drummer. I think this would be Don's last hope, this intervention. Um, I hope it is, you know, because I'm, you know, I'm be honest, I might get a little, I might go a little crazy, I might get a little handsy, I might get some hand gestures out, but I need some help, regardless. My name is Don. I am an actor. I love acting especially in things like animation and 
or anime, things like that, even video games. Um, I've always personally loved it. Um, hobbies of mine include fitness and doing things like arts. Um, I enjoy it. I think I have a great life. There was a time, however, when I had an addiction. Brett had controlled my life. Um, it made me more hungry than necessary. Um, I remember there was a time in my life where I would just microwave three, four slices of white bread in one sitting. I would just devour, crave it. One time, I remember using someone else's microwave in college. Um, I had to break in to do it, but um, I was not proud of myself. And that was the peak of my addiction. Um, I regret those moments in my life very much. My cat then passed away. Um, I was depressed. Um, I never really recovered from when he had gone down. Um, I remember the pain he was going through and um, I couldn't escape depression. It was a tough time for me and my family when we had to put him down. And uh, it was really, really hard. It was a time that I didn't want to go through. And um, since then, I have loved donuts. I think emotionally, and it, it suits me to, to eat and make sure that I get what I want. And I, I make sure it's, it's something that I enjoy. I do feel it really, really well. I, I, the satisfaction whenever I eat a donut, it's, it's something that I just love, you know? I can name all kinds of flavors, chocolate sprinkled, vanilla sprinkled, jelly <laughs> donut, uh, Boston cream, things like this. I mean, like Boston cream especially is my favorite. I love donuts. I mean, I go crazy for them every day. I look to try and get a dozen. Um, I have the money for it, so I can do it. I don't think donuts are bad. You know, I, I eat them in moderation. <laughs> because I eat healthy enough outside of donuts. I don't have to worry about donuts in my life. They're not destroying things, no matter what anyone says. I'm going to keep eating donuts. I love eating donuts. It's something that I enjoy. I love eating donuts. No matter what anyone says, I'm going to keep eating donuts. It's not unhealthy as long as it's consumed correctly. I will say it one more time. I love donuts. See that? Just amazing. Mm. It's so good. Would you like to go first? Don, I think you've done a number on yourself, man. You stayed small despite eating so many donuts. It, it reminds me of a crackhead who smokes all the time but loses weight. It's a clear red flag of addiction. You need to get help, man. If you're not doing it for me, do it for your weight. Please. Next. Don, I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. I respect you very much as a friend. You're a good friend. When you eat these donuts, did you just become somebody else? I, 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 you're a psychopath. I mean, for these stupid ass pastries that, sure, they're great. It's a good snack, but not so much as effective. You eat them, man. I, I, I don't get it. You need help and you're out of control. You're beginning to become an embarrassment to yourself and everyone around you. That's me being blunt. No, I don't need this. You, no, you, no, you do. You're gonna sit down and listen. Know. You're gonna sit down and listen. Sit down and listen. Sit down, sir. Sit down, sir. Sit down, sit like sir. Sit down and listen. I want Please. my sugar. You need to calm down. Sit down. Okay. We're not done just yet. This is all thanks to you. Let him speak. Up. Sit down. I think I'd like to hear what he has to say. Please. Don, deep down we all know that we would hate to see you go, but at this rate you're heading down a path to becoming diabetic. I know you've been eating because of the loss of your cat, but we don't want to lose you, man. We want you to get help. We want you to please consider treatment before you end up in a casket six feet deep. 
okay? I know you've had this addiction to Dunkin' Donuts and Krispy Kreme, but we all know that you need help, man. Please. I know your cats are in heaven, okay? I know they're rejoicing in heaven, but please, man, for me, stay here. Let us help you. We care about you, Don. I'm sorry, I apologize. Never again. I'll go. Oh boy. And that was my idea. Um, it's been a long journey. It's been a, a great road to recovery. Um, but with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed my idea. That sucked. Okay. Oh, Thank well. you, Don, for coming. You know. You can um, sit down. Oh, Alright, uh, Noah, you are up next. Let's hear your idea. I hope it's better than that last one. What's up, guys? I'm Noah. I have a great idea. I think you're going to love it. Um, it's better than Don's. Sorry, Don. But, uh, imagine Monty Python meets Spinal Tap by this badass music video I'm going to get into right now. So... <laughs> That was all right, guys. Let's get another one. One, two, three. <laughs> Yeah.
you know what? We're done. You know what? We have a show next week, and you're playing a jack. Get some crap. Okay, good. You know why? Because I'm fighting again. I'm gonna go. You know, get some. Get some. So I'll be back later. All right, bye. Drummers, am I right? Noah, you have a show in less than a week, but it seems like your band members are not on the same page. So, what's the status regarding the band as you guys are gearing up for your concert next week? Well, I don't know what the deal is. Um, Doc and Hayden going, going at it recently. Our bass player, um, Matt, we couldn't make the shoot today. Um, I got a guy named Zach fill in, but Zach, I don't know how Zach is. He, was, he looks like Matt, so we kind of have like a fill in. You know, they were, you know, close enough, you know, so over shoulder stuff, it worked out, but. Uh, you know, I don't know what's going on. Hayden's got some issues. I don't know what substance issues. I don't know what's happening, but uh, I'm the drummer, so I, I I I beat things. I just go home. I don't I don't know what to do. So it's it's very frustrating. But I think I'm going to go to a solo. I think at this point, I haven't told the guys yet, but change has to happen. So just roll with the flow. Dom, it seems like there's some tension building between you and the band, and I'm wondering what's the status regarding your band's concert one week from today. That's a good question. Do you want my honest opinion, or do you want me to be like, you know, um, super, super unrealistic? I want the truth, man. You want the truth? Okay. I think we're screwed. I don't, I, Hayden's, I'm going to send him to rehab. <laughs> He's, you know, he, I love Hayden to death, but his crack is getting, his crack issues becoming to be a problem. Um, and like that song, he messed up, we've played that song, God knows how many times, and, um, and like, you know, no one's doing his own thing, um, and that, our bass player was AF, was nowhere to be found. We're supposed to have a replacement, as I've never even met the replacement before. And um, I think I'm going to call it quits with them. And I think we're done because I don't think we've recovered from not having. He, Hayden's half half the band. He's he, he, He's got some issues that we can't, that he can use to resolve with some help. And um, I don't think I'm going to solo country career, maybe do some Randy Travis, Alan Jackson's kind of stuff. Because, you know, I got a deep voice and. It helps a lot, so. Uh, Hayden, what's going on? I mean, you, Dom, and Noah? Is the band history? I, I was on top of the Bel Air parking garage, and then I woke up like 15 minutes later listening to shitty music. Uh, okay, well, while all of us are concerned over the status of this band, what's the condition regarding your own health? Fun fact, you can smoke crack of a Boss HM2 just like this. Healthy. We're praying for you. Steel, you're the manager of this band, if that's what we're still calling it. But my question is, what's the current condition regarding your clients? <sighs> to be honest, like, I don't even know. They all want to start solo careers. They're, they're fighting with each other. One of them's on crack. Crack. Like, I get rock and roll, but crack. I mean, it's ridiculous. Uh, they all want to go solo. I guess I'm going to go solo, too. I get it. I'm a manager, but I don't know what else to do. Like, this is ridiculous. I mean, listen to them. Hey, dude, stop the crack, Rock man. Rock the pedal on the skin. No more stop crack. Stop the crack. Man. Give me the bottle, too. You're done. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, I quit. So do we. Suck it. I'm going duo. Can't take this. Going duo? Hey, what the heck? Hey, hey, open up, what the fuck? Lock me out? Oh, I'll go back to playing for Kelly Bell, some of these amateurs. Well, that's my idea, guys. Um, my, my name's Noah, like I said. Mr. Bass, we'll help you pick it. I think it's pretty bad ass, that's my opinion. That's my personal opinion, though. No, it's not. Well, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry for that, then. I don't know what to say, man. Thank All right, you. Uh, up next, we have uh, Steel here. Go ahead and pitch your idea. <sighs> Um, hello, I'm Steel Feltz. First off, Mr. Basford, it is a pleasure to be in your presence. It's Dr. Ford Bass! I'm, I'm so sorry. That wasn't in the memo. Um, anyway, so my idea is about an uh, investigator. Uh, so it goes like this.
Man, I don't want to climb this fence. What am I going to do about this barbed wire? I'm happy Detective Jared invited me to join him on this investigation. It's a great bonding moment for us. I swear I was wearing a belt today, though. Yeah, this is weird. You know, I never got the sense he liked me. Then again, maybe I'm paranoid. I've got a really good feeling about this. Right through here. I knew something about this room was off, but I couldn't put my finger on it. I didn't see anything, but I wanted to make sure Detective Jared thought I was trying. So, what do you think? Is that my belt? I meant about the body. What about it? Okay. Well, let's look here. Got a few questions. Number one, what is the cause of death? I do see this leather belt here that you- It is leather. I do see this belt that you pointed out to me. And I also see a writing utensil, but no, nothing to write on. Look right. Huh. The other way. Oh. My pants keep falling down. Man, I'm missing my belt. In this tense moment, I decided to crack a joke. Detective Jared didn't seem to like it, though. Detective Jared noticed that the on-air light was still on and that the cameras captured the murder. So then he told me to go check it out. So I did. I couldn't find anything wrong in this room, but these buns were a lot of fun. You know, in my second life, I was a NASCAR driver. I know Detective Jared would be mad if I didn't find anything in this room, but I'm so focused on these buns. It was like I was in a video game. I hope Jared's okay. So, any luck? Uh, to be honest, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Isn't that right? I don't know how my belt could do this to me. After all the great times we've had. And that's all. So that's basically my idea. Um, thank you again for your time. Next we have, uh, Dan, the makeup guy. I, I, just, I just want to stop right here. Is this even worth our time? All these ideas have been absolutely terrible. These are the worst ideas, worst pitches I've ever heard in my entire life. Only one way to find out? Go. Okay. Hey everyone, my name is Daniel Admasu. Hey boss, how are you? Don't talk to me. Oh, you're gonna love my work. After... I just heard three pitches that were just terrible. Oh, come on. You're going to love this. This better be the best one. It's the gonna... best pitch I've ever heard in my entire life. It's going to be the best one. Just hear me out, all right? So it goes like this. Hello, Harford. Welcome to the Owl's Nest. I am your host, Steel Feltz, and today we have a very special segment for you. Today we are sponsored by, well, bread. Well, hello? My mic went off. What? What is, what? Don, did you have something to do with this? What's going on? Don, what is, what is that? Did you, did you unplug it? What is going on? There's gotta be something wrong with it. It was just working the other day. I don't understand. Fresh bait. Oh my God, Don, what are you doing? <laughs> you tell them, Jared. You tell them. And my stupid boss, he's not awesome. I'll tell you that. He's not awesome at all. <laughs> stupid boss. Oh, oh, hey, Don. Um. 
What's poppin'? How's it been, man? Y you alright? I know we did that heist, alright? You, you know, you seem kinda hungry. You want some bread? Don, I don't have any bread on me. What's wrong? Stop! Dan? Steel? Dan. Steel. Don. <gasps> yep. Yours truly. Whoa. What's going on? What are you... Why are you two here? I don't know. I don't know. Do not bite to me. <clears throat> now I'm gonna ask one more time. Why are you two here? Why are we here? I don't know. Is he crazy? What? It... <sighs> Did we... Don. Take something? Yes. One of you stole my bread. What? You spilled the beans. One of you. Maybe both of you. I don't know. But somebody told Wayne about this whole thing. See, Don and I are going to be breaking into Wayne's office. This whole plan that took forever to plan out. Just so I can get warm bread. It was stolen right from my hands. Now one of you has to tell the truth. No, and hold on one second. What about my answer keys? We're gonna bust into his office, we're gonna steal his answer keys, and we're gonna roll on out. Did someone spill the beans to Wayne? That doesn't matter. Maybe they did, maybe they didn't. Maybe about that, I don't know. But about my bread, that's all that matters. If you don't tell me, you're hey. dead. If you don't tell me, you're oh, dead. Oh, nah, nah, nah. You want bread? Yes. Is it, is it... Dan has bread in his car. What? I don't have his bread. How do I know who to believe? Don, he has bread in his car. I've seen it. I don't... What are you doing? I don't have his bread. Don, please don't listen to him. I broke into that room with you. Please. Don. That's exactly why I'm going to take his side. What? Just this one time. Don. But just this one time. And if I find that you're the one who's lying about this, you're the one that's going to go... I'm not That's lying. Right. He has bread in his car. I don't, what are you doing? Like I said, if any of you are lying. Hey, psh, psh. What? Look what I got. What? <laughs> Where did you get that from? <clears throat> you better hurry up. I want to get out. I'm hurrying. Come on, yeah. man. Yeah. All right. All right, I can take care of the rest. Steel We fights. gotta go. You are the man. We gotta go. Let's go. Where? Whoa, whoa, whoa! You good? What? You good? Where hey, are you? Hey, Dan, what is this? Dan. Dan. Hmm? What is this? supposed to be out here. Who let you free? Don. Don. Why are you guys out of your streets? You gotta come here. Don, look. Why? Don, look. Please. We know who stole your bread. No, no. I'm not falling for any of those shots. You know what? Get him. I'm gonna... Come here. Whoa. Where are you taking me? Let me go. No, no. Come here. Look. Read these right now. Read this. Bread for life. Bread's awesome. WHFC plus bread. What is this? We know who stole your bread. Who? What does this say? They could bread me, and then after that, it's done. What? Paul Chufo. And you accused us this whole time. What do you gotta say for yourself now, Don? No, I seriously didn't know. What do you gotta say for yourself? I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> All I know Steel? is that somebody told and they said it was one of you two. And that's my story for you, boss. Hope you love it. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Daniel, for coming. Uh, thank you all for coming. All right, Mr. Uh, Dr. Uh, uh, uh. Say my name. But, uh, doctor. Uh, doctor. 
You want? Know Forget it. I have something to say for every single one of you guys. Okay. Every single one of you guys. Twenty-five years of working in this godforsaken company, and you bring me this. Sh You've been, you've been working on this for days, weeks, months, and you thought, oh, this was up to my standards. My name is Dr. Ford Bass. Get it right. But you know, it, even after all this muck, this tragedy that we just witnessed here today, we can scrounge something up. Every single idea is, I'm not gonna lie, were the worst ideas I ever heard in my entire life. But what if we make that to a compilation? You know, at least I want to be the only one laughing at all your ideas. I think that's a great idea, sir. Mr. Do uh, do doctor, doctor, I think that is a great idea. You bet your ass that's a great idea.